Am I the asshole for telling my dad that his girlfriend didn't buy me a Starbucks drink? I, 17 female, have been living with my dad, 45 male, and his girlfriend of two years, 33 female, and her daughter, 13 female, for a couple of months now while my mom, 40 female, is visiting my sick grandfather in Sweden. I've only ever stayed at my father's on weekends, so it's been hard getting used to living with his girlfriend and her kid full time. The kid is super whiny and pretty spoiled because the girlfriend dotes on her, so I usually just stay in my room. Today, girlfriend was taking her daughter on a special outing because she passed a math test and my dad suggested that I go with them for a girl's day out. I wanted to say no, but I knew he wanted me to get to know his girlfriend and girlfriend's daughter better, so I agreed. He gave the girlfriend $300 to spend during the outing. We spent the day going in and out of stores the girlfriend's daughter liked in the mall, and the girlfriend ended up buying her a ton of stuff, clothes, makeup, and other things that I don't remember. On our way home, the girlfriend stopped at Starbucks because her daughter wanted a drink and some cake pops. She ordered the drink for her and her daughter and two cake pops. I asked her if I could get something, and she said she ran out of money and that she would get me something next time. When they got their order, I asked if I could have one of the cake pops, and the girlfriend said that it was her daughter's treat for hard work, and that it would be wrong for me to take one since I didn't do anything to deserve to be rewarded. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty upset. When we got back home, my dad saw their drinks and asked where mine was. I told him that I wasn't allowed to get one because I don't deserve it. His girlfriend got upset and said I was twisting her words and that the daughter just said I was being greedy and jealous of her. I know I'm not entitled to a drink or a cake pop, but am I wrong for being a little upset and annoyed here? Am I the asshole for getting my interviewer fired? I, 27 female, went to a job interview for a potential job at a new company. The interviewer, we'll call him Eddie, he was about 30-ish, welcomed me into the office and had me sit down. First thing he did was look at my cover letter, then started asking me questions that seemed a little personal and unrelated to the job. Like if I was in a relationship, whether the color of my eyes was real, or if they were contact lenses. Also, he asked about how I spent my alone time and what type of dudes I liked. Like legit personal questions. Don't know if he was testing how I would react, but I kept it cool until he asked me what was my greatest weakness. I responded by saying, keeping up with your inappropriate questions and having to answer them politely. He looked at me very upset, told me I had an attitude, and it was clear that the interview was over. He told me I didn't get the job, which I found unfair because I didn't think I deserved to lose a job over that. I got into an argu argument with him and told him that I was going to report him. I went to speak with the supervisor and I filed a complaint against Eddie. The supervisor apologized and he tried to reschedule a new interview, but I was hesitant about it. Later, I was told that Eddie got fired, which made me feel guilty. My mom and dad agreed that his questions were inappropriate, but said that I went too far by reporting him and having him fired. Eddie tried contacting me via email saying that what I did could have been resolved between the two of us and said that he could have even arranged for me to have a new interview, but I ruined it for myself because I cost him the job. Am I the asshole? I'm an asshole is accused of harassment against a girl my age. I was at a wedding party and my dad helped host. I wore normal clothes because I was just moving stuff around. I'm not used to attending in suits and my dad taught me how to fix a tie a lot. So there's a girl who appeared to be around my age who was wearing a suit and kept trying to fix her tie. I noticed for a few hours and I didn't say anything and I just kept moving. But she seemed to struggle. Eventually I offered help her fix her tie and she said yes. I taught her and showed her how to fix a tie and I did it for her too. An older woman came out and told me not to touch her daughter and accuse of staring at her boobs it caused the whole scene and i got yelled at for it i'm an asshole for holding my son's college fund hostage i'm 48 and i have a son that graduates this year from high school my wife and i started this college fund the minute that we found out that she was pregnant since we make pretty good money his college fund is currently almost at four hundred thousand dollars in it we have never told our son what to do with his life we may have guided his own decisions like anyone would but we let him make his own. We also never expected academic excellence or forced him into anything like sports or artistic stuff. So now that he graduates high school, he said he does not want to go to college and we said as long as he's sure and he could do whatever he wants. He refused to do trade school as well and does not want to work with us in our business. He planned to use his college fund to start a business of his own. And I said I would allow that as long as he takes some business management and accounting and law classes in a nearby community college. 
I said I would pay them out of pocket and not from the fund. And I would expect a well-made business plan before. And my wife agrees as well. He calls us the asshole from holding his college run hostage to make him do what we want. But we're just going to try to make sure that he succeeds. I met the asshole for refusing my future sister-in-law's request to dye my hair for my brother's wedding. My future sister-in-law has turned into a bridezilla and I'm not joking. And is going to war with everyone on stupid stuff. My natural color is red and I love my hair. Liz is blonde, but she loves to have red hair, and in fact, ever since meeting me, she's been dyeing her hair almost exactly my color. I do think it's weird that she does, though. You can do whatever she wants. Well, she asked me this week that I should dye my hair a different color because she wants her hair to be unique. And she offered to cover the costs as well, and I said no because it's my hair. I told my brother, and he said he'd talk to her about it. Well, it didn't work, and my parents have taken her side since it's her special day. I'm 18, and she's 27, but everyone's telling me to be the bigger person. So I'm the asshole for not wanting I'm an asshole for inviting my ex to my boyfriend and I's one-year anniversary. My ex and I dated for about three years, and this is my boyfriend and I's one-year anniversary. Well, we're having a big party. We invited tons of our friends, and I'm still pretty close with my ex. So, I invited him. We have no bad bubble routine us, and my boyfriend and him actually get along really well. Well, when he showed up, my boyfriend pulled me aside and goes, what the hell, and was really upset with me about it. I tried to explain that we're all friends, so I didn't think it would be weird and how they're friends and have hung out without me before. My boyfriend then proceeded to kind of just storm off and didn't talk to me for the rest of the night, which was really awkward and everyone could tell something was up. After everyone left, I tried talking to him, but he just kept ignoring me, saying that he sees where my priorities lie and that it wasn't appropriate to bring my ex to our one-year party. I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm super confused because they're friends. We're all friends. So it would be weird if I didn't invite him. So am I the asshole here? Am I wrong for not telling my dad that I had a baby? For context, I, 28 female, have never been close with my dad, 66 male. My parents got married super fast and had three kids in five years. Then their relationship started to deteriorate, but when they were about to separate, my mom accidentally got pregnant with me. So they tried to make it work, but they failed and my dad left when I was three. He got an apartment about an hour away while us kids stayed with mom. Because my dad left when I was so young, I never properly bonded with him. For the first couple of years after he left, I didn't really want to spend time with him because I was upset that he left. This made my dad unsure what to do with me, so he gave up trying to have a good relationship with me quickly. Growing up, I only saw him when he came to visit my siblings and we never spent any time alone together. He moved to another state as soon as my siblings were all 18 and has never invited me to visit. Meanwhile, my sister gets a plane ticket to visit him every year. We got into a fight two years ago and since then I have given up caring about our relationship because it obviously means more to me than him. Now onto the actual story. I had my first baby last November. My dad has texted me a couple of times since I got pregnant, but it was always a one-off text that didn't really segue into me telling him about the baby. Plus I wasn't rushing to tell him anyway because if he hasn't been a good father then he's not going to be a good grandfather. I wasn't actively trying to keep the baby from him, but I try not to think about him much because it upsets me. However, yesterday my dad came to visit. I knew he was coming but he wasn't supposed to come until today. He'll only be here for a couple of days and I wasn't planning on seeing him anyway because I'm busy this weekend. But last night my husband and I were at my sister's house babysitting her kids and had our daughter with us. That's when my dad showed up a day early, he's staying there with my sister and was surprised to find us there with the baby. Once he got over his initial shock, he took me into another room and got mad at me for not telling him about his granddaughter. I was annoyed by this so I told him he wasn't really ever going to know her anyway because he doesn't really know me. Then he told me I was a selfish bee for not even giving him the chance to know his granddaughter. I started getting mad at him until my husband heard and came to stop us before the situation got worse. I haven't talked to him since but he texted me about how hurt he was and all of my siblings texted me that I was a jerk for not telling him about the baby. However, they all talked to him regularly and they never told him I had a baby either so he obviously wasn't asking about me. But even my mom who doesn't like my dad thinks I'm in the wrong. My husband is on my side, but he's the only one who actually understands how complicated my relationship is with my dad. I know I shouldn't have lashed out at him, and I regret that, but am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for not wanting to be in the delivery room? Me and my wife are in her 20s and expecting our first baby in early July. We've been discussing who she wants in the delivery room, and she's narrowed it down to me and her mom. A bit weird in my opinion, but anyways, I told her I don't want to be in there. Not during the delivery anyway, only before and after. I see no point in it. It's not going to be beautiful, just messy, and if her mom takes care and watches whatever mess happens in there, I'll take care of the mess after the pregnancy. My wife is upset and calls me names and all kinds of things, and she even told her mom she's mad too. I've heard horror stories and just don't want to see my wife that way.